Hello, this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to more Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. Last time, uh, we were uh, exploring around this uh, east building area, kind of like with a lot of books and library looking places. And in this episode, we're going to be heading into this door over here and seeing if we could solve the puzzle. Whoa, it's so musty. A library, huh? This definitely seems fishy. What do you mean? Come on, it's a library in a castle. There has to be some kind of secret mechanism in here. Let's look around, Joker. Alright, so we got a bit of a puzzle to solve here. So, let's see. Let's check out this here. Let's see. The history of Kamoshida. Tracing Kamoshida's steps. Kamoshida's heroisms. Kamoshida's law? What the hell? All these goddamn books are about Kamoshida. Joker. That reminds me. We found a book earlier, didn't we? Think it's related to this? Well. Yeah, something might happen if we put a book in here. Hmm. Why don't it's the Queen book? It's probably not the slave book. Maybe it's the beefcake book. I mean, he is ripped. Oh? Oh, looks like that one's a little too small. It doesn't fit as well as the others. Yeah, what so it's not the do? beefcake book. Yep. I'll just tell you right now, the beefcake book is the wrong answer for all of these, so... Mm. Don't bother. If you want to use the beefcake book for something, uh, if we head up this way... There's actually a spot over here on this mm -hmm. bookshelf. <laughs> yeah, this this is where the beefcake book goes. Huh? Is that one no good there? Maybe there's something that's stuck in that spot. Why don't you try reaching in there, Skull? Huh? There is something in here. There we go. Oh, sweet. Here, you can have it. Yeah, for doing that, uh, we get the protein. easily missable if you're doing this the first time around. It might seem that the beefcake book is nothing more than a red herring and you might not think to check any other bookcases, but there you go. If that's the case then, where might be the missing book? Well, it's actually over here. I believe in base where the beef cook, beefcake book was is where the king book is, so yeah. Now as you might imagine, uh, everything talking about Kamoshida is uh, obviously about the king and that's where the king book goes. Haha! -ha. Let's see, there's another spot over here. There are all sorts of books here. These titles don't have any rhyme or reason to them. Huh? This book has Shiho's name in the title. Wait, it's not just this one. All the books here are about female students. On Takamaki, the charming doll. Holy shit. What the heck is this? This is where the queen book goes. And last but not least, oh. hmm? wait a second. The book on this, the books on this shelf seem familiar. These are the names of the volleyball team members. Wait, what the hell? All the titles are boys from our school. Ryuji Sakamoto, the vulgar ape. There's one here for Skull. That bastard. Who the hell does he think he is? This is where the slave book goes. That doesn't look good. Whoa, it opened up? You got it, Joker. Let's take a look inside. Ugh, the hell is this room? There are tons of pictures of Suzui in here. Wait, it's all pics of her? <sighs> yeah, definitely. I feel even more motivated to do this now. I'm sure it'll feel awful, but we should search this room. There has to be something in here if he was hiding it with such an elaborate trick. Ah, well, that sound that's buzzing in your ears that just won't stop indicates that there is yet another map in here. Is this a metal? Remember that round indentation we saw back near those bars? Wait, there's something under the metal, too. It's a different map from the one we have. This is lucky. Let's take it with us. Aha! Our map's complete now! So is it gonna tell us where the treasure is? Yeah, look. It has to be here. That's a weird-shaped building. Could it be a tower or something? Considering our current position, I'd say we're about halfway there. Alright, let's hurry over there. 
No. Now that we know how much we have left, we can calculate the best way to pace ourselves. Let's keep exploring, but take breaks when you need to, Joker. The game here is implying that if you need to leave the palace because you're out of resources, then you should, and take a nice little break. However, he is lying to you. The best strategy is to not run out of resources in the first place, like I would. Uh-oh. Hmm? Hey, what are you doing? Damn it, of course they spot us now. If we want to head back, we have to go through this guy. Time to make a path. mumbling to itself, but it's not making any moves. Be careful. If my prediction is correct, that one's a bit problematic for us. Alright, then I'll go take care of it. Just be careful. Yeah. What the hell? It started moving after we attacked it. Looks like it's exactly what I expected. Once we take it down... Hey, you two, watch this! What the... it exploded? I'll explain later. Focus on the battle for now. So yeah, this is an example of something new to Royal called Disaster Shadows. Uh, disaster Shadows don't do anything and you can't negotiate with them. But they will start attacking you if you attack them, and they can even counterattack you, uh, which is dangerous. If you manage to defeat a Disaster Shadow, uh, it'll explode, deal a lot of damage to uh, other enemies, and it will drop an item, unless you kill it with Despair. So yeah, that's pretty cool. another one like from earlier. Haphazard attacks on it will only make things tougher for us. It's probably best to take it down fast by striking its weakness and getting it to blow up. Alternately, we could put it to sleep or make it unable to move, then just deal with it later. Right, so now I am going to, let's see, we're going to switch to you, Zaya you. What is Bicorn strong against? Just curse. Okay, that works. Uh, I'm going to baton pass to Ryuji and show something off that's pretty cool, too. So, yeah, we're going to Zaya this one over here. And then I'm going to baton pass to On, probably. Um, and hopefully this will knock down this Bicorn over here. Yeah, there we go. But you see there how even the explosion damage was yellow? Uh, baton pass damage buff uh, chains to almost every kind of damage you can deal. In fact, it probably just does all damage you can deal. Uh, all that attacks will be stronger if you baton pass chain into them. Uh, disaster shadow explosions, things like that. It's kind of busted, but you know. I'm not complaining. I've never seen a shadow get that intense. I call those scary ones disaster shadows. They really are scary, but just... So long as we handle them right, we ought to be able to make them useful to us, right? <laughs> right. If we run across any more of those, I say we focus on them first. Yeah, so the strategy for Disaster Shadows is that it's more or less a baton pass check. Uh, analyze, or seeing just how good you are at uh, managing baton passes correctly uh, to chain together a strong enough attack to knock them down in one hit, which is ideal. If you can't, uh, do that or manage that, uh, then just hitting it with a weakness will knock it down same as normal and you can all that attack from there. If you kill all the enemies that way, you won't get the disaster shadow bonus, but, well, it's fine. Better to be alive than dead. Anyway, with the medallion that we got in that creepy room, all right. we can unlock a way forward. Yeah, let's head out in here to the East Building Annex uh, and take out the safe room. This is about the halfway point uh, in the game, 
Uh, and if you're really struggling uh, on your first playthrough, uh, going a little bit more forward and doing a certain something in the next room, then coming back here and leaving for the day isn't a terrible idea. I'm not going to do that, uh, because I do know what I'm doing, but you can if you want to. Uh, do highly recommend, however, that you save. Absolutely save. Okay. So let's head in in this way. Hmm. It's a big empty room, huh? I do hear the tinkling of treasure, but uh, not anywhere close. Joker. Hold on, Joker. This place is huge, yet there are no guards? That seems suspicious. But the treasure's up ahead, right? We don't got a choice but to keep going. I guess that's true, but we might need to make sure we're ready for what might ever- Ah, uh, the game's trying to say that there's something, uh, specific up ahead. But I am ready. What's the worst that could happen? Instant death? Wait, was that... the gym? I get it. The gym's some kind of holy place for him. He's a god there. I can't believe he can think like that. Especially after what he did to Shiho. God, that bastard makes me so freaking sick. Oh, just you wait, Kamoshida. I see. So you're the ones who tampered with the library. It seems my time waiting here has paid off. Just as that ape there said, this place is a holy ground for our great king, Kamoshida. It is preposterous for miscreants like yourselves to come waltzing in like this. You will pay for foolishly defying King Kamoshida with your lives. I knew this would happen. Well, we don't have a choice. Let's take it down. It's important to guard if you think you're in danger. Yeah, so here the game is going to teach you about guarding. Uh, sometimes enemies will telegraph that they are about to uh, destroy you. And in those cases, it's a good idea to defend. You can only defend against a single ow, attack, but um, otherwise it will reduce the damage you take by about half. So in that case, uh, while that attack would have killed us if we weren't defending, uh, we just took half damage instead. Now this guy, the Heavenly Punisher, uh, is a boss variant of an enemy that's a uh, standard encounter in this dungeon, but uh, boss variants like this will usually have different stats, different HP, and different strategies. In this case, uh, this Heavenly Punisher uh, will charge and then use Cleave. So, yeah. He also has no weaknesses either, so we could just hit him with our standard skills. I'm gonna switch to, let's see, Kate Sith and cleave him. Since he has no weaknesses, uh, he also resists, uh, he also resists fire and a lack, so we can't use our persona skills with those two either. Um, let's see, I'm gonna have you use Garu, because you can actually do magic damage. Uh, just checking the arms next gonna lunge at you and then I'm gonna have you heal yourself with Dia. Here we go. Yeah so now he's just gonna waste a turn. Might not be a terrible idea to buff up with Tar uh, Taru Kaja or something like that but it's up to you. Um, you can just attack. Or not. Alright, now we got a guard. It's important to do this with everyone. It's critical to do this with Joker, because if he gets hit without guarding, he'll just die. So, that's what one might call suboptimal. Not gonna lie, dying here is kind of cringe. Just kidding. It's actually understandable if you get killed here. 
Wow. You don't look so composed to me, bud. Uh, we're so close. All right, we can just finish him off with guns now. There we go. Excellent. <sighs> Didn't realize those things could be that tough. Yeah, it looks like he's making a concerted effort to stop us now. Joker, I've helped you learn a few different things so far, but there's no more time for lessons. I'll compile some info you'll need to know for battle, so be sure to take a look later. Yeah, so... Uh, instead of taking the time to like go over these explicitly, uh, stuff about ailments, attribute affinities, um, rush, which is a special thing you can do where you can just press the uh, options button to rush through battle by using physical attacks, uh, and skill selection assistance, which you can use uh, R1 to help you decide what move to do next based on what enemies are weak to what. Um, but those are all being added to the tutorial menu. Uh oh. Crap. More of them. What should we do? Head back? No, the treasure is definitely up ahead, and there has to be a path to it somewhere. See anything that could help us sit by here? Keep your eyes sharp. Haha! -ha. Grapple God! Uh, in base, you just go back to that empty room we were in near the safe room before, and you have to fight your way through this room. Uh, but in Royal, you can just zip line up here and skip all of that, so that's pretty nice. And I'm going to do so. You could jump down and fight the enemies there for experience, but, um... I mean, we could use it, but there's better ways of getting uh, experience a little bit later. We're probably going to have to grind anyway, so I'm not too worried. Uh, now, you could make your way over to the other side of the room by going, like, a little further south and jumping across, but uh, whichever way you go in this room, you'll end up in the same area anyway, so, like so. I'm going to double back and double check just to make sure I'm not missing anything, but I don't think I am. Oh, uh, you saw there that we got an item with an icon that was like a gray sheet of metal. Uh, that means it's a... Ooh, a treasure. I want. I need. Uh, that means it's a material for uh, crafting, an infiltration tool crafting. Um, we need to... Oh, well, there's a treasure item over here, too. Uh, but, yeah, you can use that to craft certain infiltration items like lockpicks, uh, go home ems, things like that. What am I seeing? Yeah, there we go. All right, a chest! An alert capsule, uh, which can wake us, or, yeah, wake us from the sleep condition, which is okay, I guess, but not super important. Alright, let's get out of here. Didn't need to run all the way here for that. Um, let's see. Let's head on up this way, because there's something special for us in the upcoming area around here. And there's very obviously a treasure chest nearby. Hmm? Huh? The hell is that? Looks like we might have found something. Let's check it out, Joker. In a minute, in a minute. There is a grapple target we can go over to there, but I want to collect something in here. Joker, a treasure chest. Ah, yeah, more city armor. We'll probably wash that out uh, soon. Somewhere. Mm, we might not get a chance to That's actually now that I think about it. Right before the boss fight. Hmm. There's definitely something fishy over there. There's vines going on the door, too. Yeah, by the looks of it, no one's been in there for a long time. wonder what's over there. Should we take a closer look? Joker. Hey, Joker, do you see that handle-like thing at the top of that arch? You might be able to get to the other side if you use your grappling hook there. And, uh, he's not wrong. If we head on over here, and we can open this door. into this real creepy room. This room seems different from everywhere else we've seen so far. Yeah. And there's something super suspicious over there. That's... Come on, follow me!
What is this? Just what I thought. A will seed. Palaces are locations that grew distorted from their original forms due to their ruler's cognitions. When such distortions coalesce into form, this is the result. I call it a will seed. Distortions coalesce into will seeds? Should I try explaining that again? Uh, just forget it. That's a will seed. Moving on. So, what do we do with it? We take it. It may not be as prized as a treasure, but it's still quite the rare find. Making it ours will only do us good. I think. Um, is it really okay to take it? Nothing shitty better happen when you take it. Like, some trap going off, or we all end up cursed. Nice. The will seat is ours. I guess nothing happened? There are more of these around here somewhere. As far as I can tell, there are two of them left. Huh? How can you tell? You smell them or something? Yeah, like how dogs can... Oh, but you're a cat. I am not a cat! I just seem like a cat. But yeah, that is a new thing in Royal, obviously, uh, called a Will Seed. Uh, that right there was uh, one of the Will Seeds of Lust. Uh, each palace has three wheel, Will Seeds. Um, collecting them will restore a little bit of SP, and collecting all three of them will give you something good. So yeah, not only does that help a little bit with our uh, infiltration longevity, because we just got a little extra SP, but uh, we'll also get something really good out of it. Thing is... Um, well, I'll explain later, <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, make sure to collect all three of the will seeds. You can see uh, which ones you've collected on the mini map every time you open it. You'll always collect it red, then green, then blue. So that one right there was the first will seed of lust. You might have noticed that, um, well, you will eventually notice that uh, each of the palaces are more or less aligned with Somewhere. the seven deadly sins with certain exceptions. Uh, I don't think there's actually anything in here other than an enemy. I think. Uh, there's a treasure search object in here. That's it. Yeah, there's just an enemy and a search object in here. Kind of makes me wonder what this room is for. It's like you could almost be forgiven for thinking it's a safe room, but it's very much not. Um, anyway, nothing left for us in this area, so let's head on over this way to another spiral staircase. Now, up is the direction we need to go in, but there is something important for us going down. So, I'm gonna do that. There is a savage enemy guarding it, but uh oh. Turn around. Face the wall. I, I need to take you from behind. <laughs> okay, that works. That probably only worked because we're at 0% security, but you know. As long as this guy doesn't snap my neck, I should be fine. So, here's something new that's uh, kind of unique to. Uh, persona, I guess. You see here how we've inflicted Barrett with a status ailment, we put his ass to sleep. Um, and now the game is saying we can get something called a technical. If you hit certain enemies that are inflicted with certain ailments with certain uh, aff ability affinities, like say hitting a sleeping target with um, wind, that's a technical. It does uh, extra damage uh, and might even knock them down in Royal, so that's pretty cool. Now, future me in editing, we'll talk about the status, or we'll display what status ailments cause which technicals. I'll go over status ailments kind of when they become relevant, though. But that's just something you want to keep in mind because it can really turn the tide in battle. <laughs> But yeah, the real reason why we took that guy out is because of this treasure chest over here. Uh, this is what I want to use our soul lockpick on, because what's in here is actually really useful. It's a guilty whip, a new whip for on that's way stronger than anything that you could buy, so. 
let's just slot that on her real quick and we'll be good to go ordinarily i wouldn't go out of my way for like a weapon like that but uh in the early game like this weapons are still pretty darn useful because you will be using your physical attack a lot anyway new area here with the old castle roof um ordinarily i would say well actually yeah i'm gonna keep going we're this episode is gonna run a little long but there's something i want to show first and i want to make it to the next safe area Anyway, let's head up here to the old castle roof. You notice? Hey, take a look at that. Oh, that matches up with the map. There's no doubt that that's that that. Hmm. There's no doubt that's the tower we're headed for. So the treasure's up there. Heh, <laughs> Yeah, we did it. So where's the entrance? Uh oh. Ugh, not again. No surprise that security would be tight around here. But as they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's go, Joker. So yeah, uh, up here in this area, there's a lot of savage enemies. Um, and they can be pretty tough for you to take out uh, and a little bit dangerous for you to fight all of them. Now, if you're playing through Royal, uh, you can actually skip this area entirely by grappling. Wrong button, wrong shoulder button, wrong shoulder button, wrong shoulder button, there we go. Yeah, if you're playing base, uh, what you need to do is sneak around until you get to this ledge that's over that way and then crawl up from there and then climb and you'll basically manage to get to the same area that I'm about to get to by doing this move. Dude. Yeah, so we could just skip that area entirely. If you want to head back down to the old castle roof area and like fight those enemies, uh, you should be able to. Not sure how, but you should be able to. Oh, we'd have to go up and around for that. That's why. Uh, but yeah, you can do that if you want to. Uh, and I will be doing that eventually because they're good experience, actually. Uh, they're being so much higher level than we are. Uh, it's actually pretty useful for us to do so. Um, I don't believe... Yeah, going this way is what lets us go back down to where we were before. So I'll do that in just a bit. But uh, where we're trying to go right now is over this way. Haha. Uh -huh. Now, um, before we jump down, we can get back up, I'm pretty sure. But if we head up this way, because you've probably already seen the hole in the wall right there, we actually crawl up this way. Ooh, a treasure. Oh, a treasure chest. That's what I said. Don't wear it out. Not only can we get a treasure chest here with some curse magatamas that'll let us use curse skills, or that'll do curse damage to a single target, but we can also grapple up here and up here and go in through this window and find another will seed. Well, not for long. Let's take it for ourselves. Yeah. If you're scouring the map uh, and you notice a suspicious rectangular room, that's nearly always going to be a will seed door, so. Might as well head on over there and grab the green will seed of lust. That makes two for us. Yes, that's the second will seed. Um, I was kind of hoping there was a safe room up here because I really need one right now because I don't want to end the episode without it. Now we can move on with this area, and down here. Yeah, if you want to head back up, it's just climbing up those uh, crates and then up that hole there. Um, ooh, search item. All right, now let's head into the tower. Wait. What's going on? The distortion's getting stronger. The treasure has got to be nearby. Ah, uh, yes, I see, I see. Um, well, that's the door we came in. And that door over there is locked by bars, so we need to go this way. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. rated M for mature, everybody. <laughs> uh, now, we could continue on in the tower by going through that door over there, but... Huh? What is this? The hell? Is it a trap? Could be a hidden room. Let's check it out, Joker. 
It is not, in fact, a trap, but rather... An elevator! Yeah. Hey, where are we? It's a hidden chamber it's that we couldn't have accessed without going there. It's entirely possible that you just miss this, but it's very useful if you do not. If we head on over this way, there's another elevator over here, but... Yeah, it's not working right now. Hmm. Huh, no reaction. The other one moved, but not this one. No sound from the gears, probably because it's not moving. Maybe there's a switch hidden somewhere that can activate this thing. I'm pretty sure this elevator existed in, in base, but was just straight up cut content, like it didn't do anything. But it does do something in Royal. What the heck? This is disgusting. Either way, it's kind of strange that this would be our dead end. Well, yeah, I kind of showed off that you can interact with this, but... Haha! -ha! Huh? This looks familiar. It's the entrance hall. Have you already forgotten? I didn't realize we would end up here. You notice? Hey, look! There used to be tons of soldiers wandering around, but I don't see any of them now. Actually... Yeah, so by going through there, um, we actually managed to make it all the way back to the uh, central uh, chamber. Now, there's something that's special that we can do over in this area, uh, and I will do that. Um, I'll say that much. But before I do so, I'm going to quickly save, backtrack back to the old castle roof, fight all the enemies there, and get, like, a level or two more than what I am now. Like, let's see, I'm level, like, seven across the board now. I'd like to be level eight or level nine uh, in the next episode. Um, and then we'll show off... Uh, some of the remaining stuff to do in the palace in the next episode of Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. See you guys then!